Let's summarize the five core postulates of quantum mechanics. These are the true quintessentials of the theory. First, the wave function. A state of a quantum system is described by a wave function, commonly denoted by uppercase psi. The wave function depends on the positions of the particles involved and on the time. For one particle in one dimension, it's psi of x, comma, t. According to the statistical interpretation, psi star of x and t times psi of x and t times dx equals the probability of finding a particle in a region of width dx around position x at the time t. For more than one particle in more than one dimensions, the wave function and the probability expression will depend on all degrees of freedom of all the particles end of time. As a consequence of this statistical interpretation, wave functions must be normalizable. That is, the integral from negative infinity to plus infinity over all space of psi star psi dx must exist. If this integral is equal to 1, we say the wave function is normalized. Commonly, we prefer to deal with normalized wave functions. Secondly, observables. Each observable quantity, A, like energy, position, or momentum, is associated with an operator, A hat. These operators in quantum mechanics are Hermitian. Hermitian operators have real eigenvalues and they have orthogonal eigenfunctions. The most important operator among the observable operators is the one for the total energy, the Hamiltonian. For one particle in three dimensions, it is given by h hat equals to negative h bar squared over 2m times nabla squared plus v. Generally, different operators may or may not commute. If they commute, so if the commutator of two operators equals zero, then we know that they share a common set of eigenfunctions. The associate properties can then be measured simultaneously. Thirdly, individual measurements. The outcome of a single measurement on a system of the observable A can only give one of the eigenvalues of A, for also known as lowercase a k. So if you measure A, we can only get an eigenvalue of A hat, for example a k. Also, the measurement puts the system into the corresponding eigenstate. k in our case. The probability of getting a certain eigenvalue as outcome is given by the norm square of the expansion coefficient of the corresponding eigenfunction. If you write the wave function in terms of the eigenfunctions of the operator, 
with uh, eigenfunctions psi k and eigenvalue a k, we have psi equals the sum over k of c k times psi k. Then this probability for the eigenvalue a k equals to the norm of c k squared. Fourth, many measurements. The average of many measurements of an observable A on a series of identical quantum systems is given by the expectation value A bracket. It equals the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star A hat operating on psi dx. For the superposition wave function written above, this reduces to a weighted average. So bracket A equals to the sum over all k of the norm of the expansion coefficients squared times a k. Lastly, time evolution. The time evolution of a wave function, psi, is described by the master equation of quantum mechanics, the time-dependent Schrodinger equation i h bar ddt of psi of x and t equals to h hat psi of x and t. This is the time dependent Schrodinger equation. or sometimes abbreviated as TDSE. Some wave functions can be written as a separable product. Psi of x comma t equals to lowercase psi of x times f of t. These wave functions are called stationary. Their properties don't change over time. even though they have a time-dependent phase factor. The phase factor is given by f of t equals e to the negative i e t over h bar. When talking about stationary wave functions, we often talk only about the spatial part, lowercase psi of x. This lowercase psi of x equals the full wave function of x at time zero. The spatial part fulfills this following equation. h hat operating on psi equals e psi. This is the time independent Schrodinger equation. or T-I-S-E. These five postulates on the wave function, on observables, on individual measurements, on many measurements, and on a time evolution constitute the basis of quantum mechanics.